Good day, this is Damien from Fixing PC and today's video we are going to add an IP camera to a um, 16 channel DVR. So most times when you buy a DVR system it comes in 8, 16, 32, 64 variants and with most of them you can only have how many channels they say you can have like if you have eight channels you can have eight cameras but some of them allow you to add a couple extra cameras each brand is specific each model is different they allow you, they allow you to add either two IP cameras or four IP cameras depending on the model and the amount of channels you have all right so you might have you might even have a 16 channel system Oh, sorry, a 32 channel system with only 16 physical inputs, which means you can add cameras externally via a switch or via another device. So today's demonstration is going to add one camera to an existing 16 channel. The 16 channel also has one camera physically attached to it, just for, for context. So yeah, let's get to it. So first thing I want to do, I'm going to find my DVR on the network. To do this in the LTS the, the, um, systems and Higvision and of, of that lineage, you use something called the SADP tool, which I already have open here. So once you're on the same network, the SADP tool goes out and finds the devices. Even if they're not on this, they don't have the same IP address, it, it finds the device and you can come here and you can also do some initial configuration like say for instance if it was brand new and not activated you can activate it from this interface you can even change things like um, IP address port numbers you can enable the ATP like I've done here and then you put in the administrator password now if you activate you'll be making the administrator password and then after which you can change the, um, the different settings and then you have to apply the administrator password that you just created and modify right and so we have ours at 192.168.10.116 so now we will go to our web browser and we will open 192.168.10.116 right and now that we have opened it here i know that the plugin to let this run video on chrome does not work too well so you have to go to explorer now instead of going to internet explorer i use uh, ie tab extension on my chrome browser All right so with that now it creates an explorer environment within google chrome so that i don't have to use a different um, browse all together. Don't really like explore anyway. So we'll put in the administrator password that I'm earlier and we'll log in. Alright so you can see on the side we have one to sixteen channels. Alright if we set to play now one alone will come up. This is the one that's presently in my living room. Alright so we have one camera, it's right there. Actually, sorry, this is the kitchen. <laughs> right. So we have one camera there, ready, active, ready to go. So to add the camera, go to configuration. And then we go to camera management. Now in this here, in some models, you cannot add an IP camera without taken away from the camera listing All right but this one allows you to add additional cameras you have to you have to check your specs when you're ordering DVRs which is why I always say work with a consultant a professional to get the specifications right so you can get exactly what you want so anyhow we go to IP camera and we select add now where's the IP address of our IP camera you see okay go back to the SADP tool 
and there we have it here second line well I know it here because this is the only other device I would have online right now and this is located at 0 0.225 I already know the username and password this has been pre-configured probably did this in, a, in another video not sure um, so you'll take this address username and password and we'll go back here and we'll put the IP camera address here 192.168.0.225 protocol it's a Hikvision camera otherwise I'd use Onviv once the camera supports Onviv I'll use that and use the Onviv port and username and password but here's the Hikvision so we have Hikvision I left the management port at default username admin put in the password do it again leave the transfer protocol at auto hit ok and you see it will add it says offline right now but if I go back to analog and when I come back to IP it will say online just a little weird thing that happens All right so now that this is here it's channel D1 so if you go back to our live view it's automatically saved by the way you will see now we have a new camera one now we could change that name in the the image settings we go and change the display name and it will show up differently here but let me show you what happens when you run the video again notice you only see 16 channels right right so if you wanted to show up in this interface in the web interface you want that extra camera to show up and you have an extra space because this only goes as far as 16 channels so if you have all 16 occupied that 17 channel is not going to show so in order to do that you'll have to select another channel double click on it and it'll show up there right so this is a separate channel altogether right so there it is all right so now that how it, that's how it shows on the web browser right and here we see we have that 17th camera channel which is that extra IP channel it shows up just fine in the client and it will also show up on your phone in the app once you've added it it will be there on the phone the app as well so on the client you would see it on the phone you would see it on the web browser not so much not so much on the web browser I don't know why that is but I guess everything has limitations so there you have it that was adding IP cameras oh there's also one nice little thing I want to show you while I'm here I'll probably do an entire video on it um, it's a nice little feature I'll have to bring up the I'll have to bring up the um, this here now there's other people's stuff coming through but I want to show you one specifically for this one and it's going to be a motion sensor so I'm going to activate it now you may hear some beeps right so you see it right there encoding encoding device test dvr1 test a1 dvr1 it's something i'm working on right now to try to get it work, to work the way i want it to work so what happens is that i have a motion sensor attached to the alarm inputs on the dvr i'm trying to have some fun with that right now but from what I can be able to do so far is um, have the DVR uh, let me show you the settings really quick I can have the DVR get down to events really quick alright now I'm input so I have it set up on first channel it's a normally closed for your uh, motion sensor label motion sensor right and enable the input handling so that it does what it's supposed to do and the linkage method I have set up is an audible warning which will be the beeps 
I could send an email out if I have email configured. It will notify the surveillance center, which is the client, which is this what you get in here right now. The sensor alarm and start and stop. All right. Also, it's supposed to trigger channel one. All right. Now, it's supposed to trigger a pop up on channel one. I have, I have yet to see it pop up. Um, I'm still working on it. The only thing I've seen that triggers pop ups is motion detection. It's the only thing that triggers pop-ups. Like if I have this with the linkage method to, you know, trigger, I can even trigger the alarm output, but I mean, yeah, something else, but you trigger channel. When I do this and I have full screen monitoring on, as with the alarm input, do I have full screen monitoring on it as well? Yep. It usually gives you a full screen view of what is happening. All right, so and also just how the alarm works on these um, surveillance clients when there's a pop-up alarm you should just press record it brings up a screen it tells you what's happening you see all what you set up and this is what someone who's monitoring will see they will see activity movement whatnot and they can check what's the next alert see what's happening, run the video, to play it, see what's going on, download it, record it, and all that good stuff. So, alright, this has been Damien. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you to all my subscribers. Thank you for all the support. I know I haven't made a video in a while, but I'm trying to get back to it. I've been a little bit busy, and I'm really trying to get time to structure these videos properly this one was just quick because this one has to go out like literally next half an hour to be installed so i just thought i would squeeze this one in there to benefit everyone uh if you like it thumbs up if you didn't thumbs down give me a comment on anything that i missed out that you were probably would have wanted to see and i'll probably get around to either making a video about it or at least point it to something that you can use to edify yourself concerning that particular function. Okay, so thank you for, time, for, for signing in and have a nice day.